Welcome to Middle School Mathematics Online Course. Page A1, Teeth Lesson, presented by Jesse Garza. A2, Unit 12, Counting and Probability. This is a continuation of the unit. A3, Lesson 3, Calculate the Probability of an Event. In the previous lessons, we have covered a few vocabulary words like county principle, tree diagram, outcomes, and event. The next vocabulary word we're going to learn is probability. C1. Before we get into probability, let's go over a few things we have learned already. Outcomes. Outcomes are results that are likely to occur. Outcomes are also results that are likely possible. C2. Let's review outcomes. Let's use the number spinner to find some outcomes. The number spinner is number from 1 through 10 with different colors, but we are going to disregard the colors. C3. After spinning the spinner, what are the outcomes? C4. Once you spin the spinner, these are the possible outcomes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the possible outcomes are the numbers from 1 through 10. C5. Event. An event is a particular outcome. C6. Let's find an event from the spinner example. So after spinning, we want to find an event from the outcomes. C7. The event we're going to be looking for is multiples of 3. C8. From the outcomes from the spinner, find the numbers which are multiples of 3. So for the numbers 1 through 10, which are multiples of 3. C9, one method which can be used to determine if any of these numbers are multiples of 3 is to divide by 3. C10, a flowchart could be used to determine if the number is a multiple of 3. 
will input the numbers and then divide them by 3 and ask is quotient an integer? If it is an integer then we place it in the event. If it's not an integer then we keep repeating the process until all the numbers have been through the division. C11. The event of multiples of 3 are 3, 6, and 9. D1. We are now ready to start probability. Probability is the chance of a particular event to occur. D2. Let's practice calculating the probability using the number spinner. D3. A probability is given in two forms. One form is fraction and the other form is percent. D4. The question is now, what is the probability of the spinner stopping on a number which is a multiple of 3? D5. We are going to determine the event The event we are looking for is the event of multiples of 3, which were 3, 6, and 9. D6. Now we are ready to give the probability in fraction form. First thing is, how many numbers are a multiple of 3? We found the numbers 3, 6, and 9. Therefore, there are 3 numbers which are multiples of 3. And the 3 for numbers is highlighted. D7. The next thing is, how many total numbers are in the outcome? Well, the outcome numbers were 1 through 10. So how many numbers were there? There is a total of 10 numbers in the outcome from the spinner. And the 10 is highlighted. D8. We found the event of multiples of 3 was 3. We found 3 of them, 3, 6, and 9. And we also found the total numbers and outcome. We found there were 10. So that leads us to our fraction form. D9. We are now ready to present our probability in fraction form. We found the numbers 3 and 10, so our probability of fraction form is 3 over 10 or 3 tenths. D10. So the statement is the probability of the spinner stopping on a number which is a multiple of 3 is 3 over 10 or 3 tenths. D11. 
D11. The question now is, what is the percent form of the probability 3 tenths? So we need to convert 3 tenths to a percent. D12. We take the fraction 3 over 10 and then we divide the fraction. When we divide, it's best to round to four decimal places if necessary. That will give you a good estimate of the percent. Once you divide 3 over 10, you're going to get 0 0.3. And the next step is to convert that decimal to a percent. And once you do the conversion, you're going to get 30%. D13. The statement is the percent form of the probability 3 tenths is 30 percent. If you recall, we stated that a probability is given in two forms. One form is the fraction form. The other form is percent. We found our fraction form to be 3 over 10 or 3 tenths. And we found our percent form to be 30 percent. So we have our two forms, 3 tenths and 30 percent. E1. Now try a practice problem on your own. Let's use a die to calculate a probability. E2. Use a die to calculate the probability of tossing a factor of 25. E3. Pause the video while you work on the problem. Now that you have tried the problem, let's see how you did. E4. The probability of using a factor of 25 is 2 over 6 or 2 6. E5. Always remember to reduce a fraction to its simplest form. E6. Two sixths reduced to its simplest form is one third or one over three. E7. Remember also that a probability could be given in its percent form. E8. One third in percent form is 33.3 percent. E9. 
E9. And congratulations, you have successfully completed the lesson. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you.